Yo, what's up guys, it's Jeff, and after a week of using the first beta of iOS 15 on my daily driver, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, there's some obvious improvements that we'll be seeing in beta 2, but also some added features that we need to see as well. So let's go ahead and get into when the next beta should be released for iOS 15, and also talk about what we should be seeing in that next beta as well. Okay, so when talking about the schedule of the iOS beta releases, they typically follow a very similar pattern every single year when we get into major releases like iOS 12, iOS 13, and iOS 14. Every year we've seen the first three betas follow a bi-weekly release schedule, which is around the 14 to 15 day marks. Now, there's been no indication that this typical release schedule will exactly change this year, so I do expect the next beta of iOS 15, that being beta 2, to be released on June 22nd, along with updated versions of other software releases that we saw at WWDC just last week. Now, another topic of conversation with regards to the scheduling of these betas is when the public beta for iOS 15 will be released. So during WWDC, Apple did announce that the first public beta will become available in July. And typically we see the public beta released alongside the third developer betas. So with that said, and also following the history of the typical beta release schedules, we should be seeing a developer beta three and the first public beta on July 7th. Now, all of this could be uh, you know, subject to change, but for those of you looking forward to the public beta, this date would be a good reference as typically Apple doesn't vary too far off from what they've done before in their initial beta testings for major iOS releases. Okay, so now that we've talked about scheduling specifically, let's get into what we should be seeing in the next beta, beta two. Now, as far as new features go, Apple did include almost every single new feature that they previewed at WWDC. So we aren't really expecting more to be added unless they are features that Apple didn't highlight at that event. Now we do, however, have the share play feature that has yet to become enabled in beta one. The toggle for share play is clearly in the FaceTime app during a FaceTime call, but it is grayed out and unfortunately does not work as of yet. So that's definitely one feature that we should be seeing in a beta two release, especially with the FaceTime uh, link, FaceTime grid view, and FaceTime audio improvements all being present in beta one. Now past that new feature, we really can't tell what else Apple could be adding in addition to the already previewed and announced features. There are however, some UI changes that I'd love to see added to iOS 15. One would be a dedicated app library icon, something that we have in iPadOS, and since I use it quite often over on that platform, I'd love to see that on iOS as well because I think that would make a pretty big difference. There's also the ability to change the utility controls on the lock screen, and in this render, you can see that the focus feature is located on the bottom right-hand corner, but I'd love to see even the ability to change this to any of the control center controls. That way you can customize the lock screen controls to what you want and will actually use the most. Now, the last thing that I would love to add is the quick notes feature to iOS. It's a feature that I've been using quite extensively on iPadOS, and I really want to see it brought to iOS because it seriously improves my personal workflow, and it's a handy feature that everyone could take advantage of across all iDevice platforms. So hopefully that's something Apple considers adding because it doesn't seem like that feature should be exclusive just to the iPad and just to iPad OS as it does come quite in handy a bit throughout my day. Now there are some fixes that Apple needs to make in uh, iOS 15 and the first of my concerns has to do with FaceTime. So one thing is FaceTime doesn't really work at all for about half the users out there that I've spoken to. And I think that problem originates from a FaceTime uh, call that starts on a device that's on iOS 14 and then being answered by a device that's running iOS 15. There's also a bug that presents the image as completely upside down. And of course, SharePlay doesn't work as discussed earlier. So those are all things that need to be fixed with FaceTime. 
There are also bugs like the Apple TV lock screen controller crashing the springboard. There have been some issues with widgets working properly, and there are definitely some issues with performance when it comes to using Safari. Now, Safari isn't a necessarily poor experience, but sometimes when trying to load uh, certain tabs after not using them for a while, the app tends to lag quite a bit and sometimes even requires restarting it to work fully. Now, past those very small bug fixes, we still have the need uh, for certain Apple apps to be updated to the new UI theme that they are going for in iOS 15. One example is the App Store, where we still see the edge-to-edge -edge menus that are obviously not the same theme as what we see in the Settings app. There's also the very ugly looking battery widget to talk about as well. Uh, seriously, Apple, you need to do something about this. It looks absolutely terrible. Um, after all the work to updating the UI for um, having more accurate and modern looking icons and features, I think uh, some more work needs to be done with uh, the things like the battery widget, the big battery widget. Now, there's also a ton of other things that need to be done, and I'm sure that they will be done, but we'll be highlighting those changes when the update is released and keep you guys up to date when we notice those changes coming in beta 2. Okay, so that's a little bit of a preview as to what we can expect from iOS 15 beta 2. If you guys are interested in hopping onto the developer betas, there's a link down below that can help get you started on that process. But if you want to wait until the public betas, you can always get more information on that by heading over to beta.apple.com. And that link is also in the video description below. So with that said, make sure to stay tuned for the beta 2 update. It's going to be a really good update here. And I hope you all are enjoying iOS 15 in the meantime. Hey guys, thanks for watching Updated on YouTube. Before you head out, make sure to get subscribed and also hit that notification bell button to stay up to date for when we publish any new content here on the channel. Also, if you want to check out some of our other things that we have going on, check the links down in the video description below. You can check out our channel memberships, our merch store, my personal Twitter account, which you should totally follow, and a link to the updated podcast where we have new episodes every single week talking about everything going on in the world of tech. So again, thank you all for watching today's video and we hope to see you in some upcoming content. But until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.